Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Stellaris. We are playing as Restored Quirky and League. I was going to end the uh, recording session with that last one, but nah, i got to press my advantage. Let's see what happens. This, this one will be the end of the recording session, though. <laughs> so this has taken me over my uh, Starbase capacity, but that's fine. I mean, I still am getting 2,000 energy credits, so it's perfectly fine. Uh, you need to be Technology in a sector. Discovered. And you go ahead and get in there. Okay, uh, Marauder Missiles, uh, Mining Station Output, why not? Okay, that battleship is almost done. Engaging enemy fleet. I mean, it really helps to have much longer range. Albanian societal, societal shift. Yeah, all their battleships are now taken out. Dang, look at that. Quickly, they're just getting chewed up. I like it. Feels good. All right, now they're, they're, we're having some trouble taking those out, it seems like. The Vion Director has made a satellite of the Galactic Chirk clans. Is that a rebel under these guys? Go ahead and turn that off for now. Galactic Chirk clans. Well, that uh, rebel there got destroyed. Where the heck is a... Oh. Oh. Weird. <laughs> well. Their technology level is superior to mine. This little guy. It ain't right, I tell you. It ain't right. Okay, that's done. Let's get our transport in. Land armies. Land armies. And land armies. Alright, so what the heck is going on with the... with these... ships? Alright, well in that case, um... What am I at? No. I want the nanite interdictor. Where are you? We got two Magellans. White base, white base, and white base. Okay. Wait, no. Two of you get in there. I am almost certain that you can get in there. I don't know which uh, fleet those actually belong to, but... The whole fleet manager thing is just kind of... bonkers. It's, it, it is not... It doesn't work well, in my opinion. I mean, it's a nice addition compared to what was there before, but it just doesn't work well. <laughs> has so many issues. Like, again, it's building all of these out of here complete. rather than here. Construction complete. All right, let me just build some Magellans. Or a Magellan. Uh, 
Okay, that's there. Initiating communications. No. Technology discovered. All right, mining station output. Uh, let's see the armored torpedoes. Liberation forces. So at least this station has gone to me. Go ahead and have you all repair. Okay, one of them has been repaired. That's good. Establishing colony. We'll get an affluence center, and that's pretty good. And uh, this will be a, a complete and utter slaughter. Like, I honestly almost want to send these back into uh, the systems that these are in, just to try and force them to build things. But I also don't have enough uh, alloys to do any of that. Uh, gateway in Aurelia. Okay. Let's go ahead and close that. I don't really need you up. Ninety-eight, ninety-seven, ninety-three. Well, if you're already repaired, go ahead and take this system back then. Uh, we will definitely extend our deal. Thank you. And a scientist has died. Okay. Um, well, I got you. Let's put you in there, I guess. May not be the uh, ideal one, but you're the one we have available. And it's a brain slug host. It's just not a brain slug and a genius. Which I suppose I should look to see if I can get. No. Don't care, then. That's fine. Why are you guys just sitting here? Come in. I mean, admit it. Well, no, there's a uh, Zenek Architects with uh, 50k and 35k. Get your butts in here. Help me out. Do stuff. Zenek Architects have taken that back. So I think whoever we take this stuff from, or I mean, like, whoever used to have this stuff is going to get it back. Which is kind of a shame, really. Uh, Senate is now in session. So they are in breach, so they're getting naval capacity minus 60%, diplomatic weight from fleet power minus 120%. Administrative capacity minus 60%, and diplomatic influence cost plus 150. Right now, the unnamed rebels of Zenek Architects are abstaining. This is minor research sanctions. It's weird that the Hathgum are supporting this. I honestly don't understand why they would be doing that. Resolution passed diplomatic weight. Hmm. Interesting. So, cooperative, galactic contender, envoys, council member, xeno relations, and xeno diplomacy. Yeah, they have a lot fewer modifiers, and they're still doing that. Well, they've got over twice the fleet power, I mean, that's part of it. I have... About 40% more pops. Double the economy. Well, not quite double, but... 
maybe 30-35%. But yeah, then the uh, technology. I mean, part of it is like, they are, they are very insulated from all of what's going on in the galaxy. That's a big part of it. Also, you know what? Uh, I have not opened a reliquary in a while. Well, let's buy one. The reliquary contains music without any obvious playback mechanism. The reliquary is soon closed and forgotten about. Dang it! I wanted something interesting. Alright, there we go. Come back up here. Technology discovered. Alright, armored torpedoes, devastator torpedoes. Go ahead and reinforce that fleet. I mean, they have now lost their entire original space, so their their ability to reproduce stuff is extremely crippled. Makes me happy. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Alright, so we need to get down there. But that's going to actually take a really long time to do so. All right, so if I say that this is blocked off, my guys should come in. No. Give it a... There we go. Month should do it. That is a rather lengthy trip, but let's come through here, and we'll jump from that point. It's kind of a shame that you can't queue up jumps. But I'm pretty sure that someone else is going to get that. Establishing colony. Okay. So you guys can jump over here. Come over here. And come in there. It's a long shot, but there is a chance that I can take that. I don't think it'll happen because of the uh, fact that uh, people have claims on it who are in my federation, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, if I don't get it, I don't get it. It's not that big of a deal. I actually don't have claims on any of that stuff. I could always get down here and then jump in there and then go take that stuff. I 
All right, Kirbus, let's go ahead and get you uh, connected to the trade network. Unith as well. I like how one that is not connected to the trade network can go through the space of one that is still not connected to the trade network without it fixing that. It's kind of weird. I should get some of these uh, colonized as well one of these days. All right, down to minus 20 food, and that's pretty good. All right, so Utopian Abundance technology discovered would basically just be more of that rising unemployment on Kirbus Institute increased benefits I could do social welfare for a bit I'm gonna do it let's do it utopian abundance shield hit points was five percent Okay, um, let's get to the weapon damage, and then uh, fleet command limit plus 10. Yeah, quite a few things that I want. Um, I'm nowhere near my max naval capacity, so I don't care about that. Let's get the administrative capacity right now. All right, so let's see what happens when the next month ticks over. Uh, I'm going to need to go through, like, even though you set the default rights, not everything gets that. A lot of things are still going to be on uh, the normal, decent conditions kind of thing. All right, gateway reactivated. That's nice. That's that one up here. Let's actually go ahead and upgrade to that uh, station then. Go ahead and reinforce that. All right, how you guys doing? I've got Kfefa's guys going, who might be going through there, though. That would be more than a bit of a shame, actually. Oh, like I said, I don't think I'll get it. But there's a chance. And I will take that chance. Gateway reactivated. Very good. Yeah. I don't think anyone is technically on uh, on the social welfare yet. Let's just put you at uh, at this for now. 
I get my people on it. Uh, there's also a new measure here. Tianki Pest Control. The roving Tianki are not only a nuisance, but also a navigational hazard. The presence of these unpredictable creatures cannot be tolerated in the galaxy's increasingly busy space lanes. Any empire with Tianki inside their borders are in breach of galactic law until the creatures are destroyed or leave their of their own accord. Uh, I am going to oppose that. There is no reason to kill the Tianki. Our cute, cuddly little uh, tentacled Tianki. What kind of monster would propose that? Huh. The, uh, the unknown people. Yeah, they're gonna get in there first. Well, let's see what happens. I mean, this will confirm whether we could have gotten this or not. Honestly, if we can't get this, then, um, I'm, I'm gonna head over and start working on the uh, the zealots. There's no reason to fight these guys at the moment when I can go take on the other guys. We could actually settle status quo. Yeah. Alright. That went back to the Blessed Zatrakpor Mandate. It's kind of what I expected, but... Worth a shot. Okay, so let's go ahead and get back over here. And you come this way as well. Although, actually... Stop there. So yeah, I'm perfectly fine, like, sweeping up these guys once we've done what we can against, uh... The other guys. Nanite mineral probes. Establishing colony. Okay. Yeah, consumer goods, uh, that's kind of bad. That's kind of bad there. Okay, that's kind of what I expected. However... If we go to... Policies... Rapid deployment. Sublight speed plus 25%. Ship weapon range plus 10%. Dang, why wasn't I looking at that before? Heck yeah. I want to move faster. Uh, nah, I don't care about changing that. Do, do, do. What am I looking for? Economic policy? No. Trade policy... So we're on wealth creation. One trade value equals uh, one energy credit. If I go with consumer benefits, I will not get quite as much uh, energy credits, but I will get a lot of consumer goods. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll see how this goes. I may have to go through and uh, emphasize a lot of artisan jobs. We'll see what happens when the uh, month ticks over. Gateway construction site ready. Let's go ahead and get that upgraded. At this point, we really do need the uh, energy credits out of this. <laughs> the trade value.
The Juggernaut is 36% complete. It's not going to be finished anytime real soon. I suppose there's a chance it'll be done next session, but I don't think so. It is incredibly slow. Especially when the game is just running this slow. Oh yeah! So it went from uh, minus 1,000 to minus 78. Now, I also went from uh, plus 3,000 energy credits to plus 1,000. Uh, but does it really matter when you're getting 1,000 energy credits a month? <laughs> it's like, whoop de doo uh, so I am going to need to upgrade some things. So let's get some artisan jobs over here. That can be upgraded. As can those. As a, um, a mega corporation, I love doing that. Just because you get so much more uh, trade value that there's just no reason not to. Uh, what do we want? I need a. Technology discovered. Uh, let's see. Let's get some civilian industries here. Alvanian Societal Shift. Alloy Foundries. Let's go ahead and repair that. Because then I'm almost never building these buildings. I mean, I'll build a few here and there, but in general, just no need. Get more than enough, uh... Just out of your trade value. Okay. Uh, let's go with the synthetics. Alright, that's probably enough for now. Um, let's look to see if there's any planets that are like... Yeah, housing is something that I want to... I do worry about. I do want to look at. So let's get that. Right now, unemployment won't be too much of a problem. Also, of course, the fact that... Uh, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I need to do, but... Um, Let's see. Yeah, you are on Utopian Abundance. So there are a lot of guys on Utopian Abundance, so that's good. Um, I won't need to worry too much about them being unemployed because of that. They will still produce a bunch of stuff. And I'm already at uh, plus 8,000 research. Alright, let me go ahead and save it, and let's uh, jump over to the Foteshans and see exactly what they're doing, because I'm kind of curious uh, how their empire is proceeding at the moment. So, debug tooltip. If you want to uh, hack your game, use the cheats, that's what you do. So then, uh, ID5. Um, so, you are always... The, the player empire in a single-player game is always zero. So if you ever want to get back to your own empire, it's zero. Um, and then the number is based on when they spawn in. So these were the fifth to spawn in. Let's uh, play five. I think that's the right one. Yeah. Okay. They're capped out on influence. They're getting... They have a base of nine. I'm pretty sure they're cheating there. Uh, they're at plus 193 at consumer goods, 640 alloys, 218 food, 497 uh, minerals, 352 energy credits, 
Uh, they're getting 1.5 influence. They've already filled everything out. They've grasped the void, executive vigor, xeno compatibility, master builders. Not sure why. Galactic force projection. Uh, Imperial prerogative, technological ascendancy, and one vision. They are a bit over their empire sprawl right now. Administrative cap. They are not producing very many um, special resources, unlike me. And this is, of course, one of the things that's going on. I'm I'm just like going nuts on just producing all kinds of stuff because uh, I don't care that much. Just I, I just want to have a surplus. As long as I have a surplus, I'm happy. Um, and I want to make sure that I always have a surplus. I can always sell it for energy credits later if I want, sort of thing. Uh, the AI is able to, you know, nickel and dime it. Also, I mean, they've got a ton of trade value that is not being collected. Just an absolute massive amount. So they could be better still if they collected that. And they're getting uh, 17k research here. So yeah, I mean, that's that's how they're doing it. Okay, they did get uh, that. They're modifying some species. Um, so they are working on nerve dampeners 4, flash coolant 15, matter compression 6. So yeah, I mean, they're way ahead of me on, on all of these at the moment. Matter compression 6. Miniaturized pre-igniters, four. Loader efficiency, seven. Fortified core layers, four. Synchronized firing patterns, two. And thermodynamic yield, six. Um, interstellar expansion, five. Nerve dampeners, four. Administrative efficiency, three. Proclamation broadcasts, three. Transgenic crops, three. And Admiralty support staff, four. And here... Uh, Applied Superconductivity, 13, Focusing Arrays, 10, Flash Coolant, 15, and Shield Harmonics, 5. So yeah, I mean, they're they're way, way ahead of me on all of that. Not really anything I can do to catch up, unless I go just so far over my Empire Sprawl that I don't have to ever worry about that. And then... You know, just hope that I never need to worry about it. Let's take a look at their fleets. They can actually upgrade. Uh, focusing arrays. They've got uh, strike craft. But they, they have not upgraded their fleets much. So I think a lot of this is just whatever it had on, on it when it popped out. And they have not upgraded it. And the AI constantly changes around their... Their ship designs. I mean, here they got a Giga Cannon. When up here they have uh, focusing ray, focused arc emitters. It's weird. They don't seem to have built Titans. I don't know why. Because they can. They just haven't. They have no armies right now. A lot of these things aren't even built up. And that's the other thing, is like, you know, I mean, I, I've built up all of my, uh, my stations to a degree. So, yeah, that's, uh, they, they, it's mainly just that they never had to really fight much at all. I mean, they, they fought against the Churk a little bit, but then they, they were allied with the, uh, um, the Zenak Architects pretty early on and never needed to worry about it. Um, and they, they fought against the uh, Zetrokpor, but and of course the, the Hazar Throng. But other than that, they never really fought against any of them to any great degree. Whereas I was constantly fighting, and I took the bulk of the Hazar Throng, whereas they took very little. If anything, if you hear, that's about it. Whereas, you know, not only did that, but I took a, a chunk out of the uh, the Churk, 
that the Hazar throng took, so... I just had a, a, a nasty sprawl issue, because I bloated so much. Anyway, when we come back next time, we'll, uh... We're gonna retool, head down here to the Corinth Zealots, try taking them out. Um... And then refocus up here. I think we're we're solid here because uh, I can get fleets in here pretty quick. I'll probably fo uh, prioritize getting some of these back. What did you actually build here? Art installation. And I should actually take a look at the one that I took up here. So that's already done. I'm definitely benefiting from that. I thought they were building one around here somewhere. Nah, maybe not. Yeah, whatever. Alright, anyway, uh, when we come back next time, we'll uh, focus on the uh, Corinth Zealots for a little while. These guys have never actually made contact with the Hathgum. That's weird. Oh, well. See you next time, everyone.